So you want to build apps and websites. Great. It's one of the most rewarding skills in the world. You can solve pretty interesting problems and create something of value by just hitting keys on your keyboard. And anyone with a computer and internet connection can learn how to do it. Nope. This is a big fat lie that everyone except you profits from. Having access to thousands of tutorials can't teach you how to build a website. Maybe you have already tried and failed at that. Most people give up after a few months of watching coding tutorials. Tell me if it's relatable. You watched a web development roadmap video and started to learn the basics of how the web actually works. You learned a bit about DNS and the client-server relationship. All right, the next step is to write something inside the heading tag and render it on the browser. That was easy. So you played around with a few more tags. Buttons, links, images, and most importantly divs. Then it's time for that magical style tag. The syntax is a bit different, but still manageable. Plus, the code is changing the page in real time. That's fun. Now you can create some pretty crappy websites. Then you learned about Flexbox Grid and media queries. Now your crappy website can adapt to different screen sizes. But you wanted to create those popular UIs and animations you saw on Dribbble. After all, you want to create that shiny portfolio that will bring in clients and possibly an interview. So you dig deeper and started to hear about design systems, frameworks, and UI libraries. You are also hearing a lot about React and JavaScript and how you should build reusable components. So you opened your first script tag and wrote some basic JavaScript, and your brain started screaming for help. Let me rewatch that beginner-friendly video. This is comfortable, watching someone build interactive elements, and just like that, you are in. The next step is to build that to-do app. A few minutes in, and you have no idea what the fuck you are doing, but you trying really hard, and after solving some weird errors in the console, your to-do app is finally working, but you are exhausted and feel like a failure for taking so long to build something so simple. Now, some of you have passed that phase and struggling with some other problems, but the cycle stays the same. You watch videos like How I Landed a Fang Job in Nine Months, and that motivates you to do that yourself. You watch countless tutorials only to forget everything when it comes to actually writing some code. Why is that? why you can't seem to learn these concepts when others can. Two reasons. Building apps and websites is hard. Don't get me wrong. It's easy compared to other grueling jobs out there. You don't have to endure harsh weathers and physical pain, but you need a lot of focus and dedication to learn web development. Focus and dedication is hard, especially in the beginning. Humans like to be in their comfort zone. That's why our parents had one job throughout their life. People exaggerate to get more clicks and views. How I Became a Programmer in Four Months is a much more appealing title than How I Got a Developer Job After Years of Learning and Rejections. Having said that, it's true that people learn at a different pace. That's why you see senior engineers who look like they just graduated out of college, and others with far more experience stuck at lower positions. So, you need to understand these two things. Becoming a web developer will take a lot of focus and dedication. You need to set realistic expectations. You won't learn anything meaningful in just a few months. Yeah, you can build a full stack application by watching tutorials, but that doesn't mean you understood the concepts. To build websites or learning to code in general, you need to learn a very special skill, self-learning. You need to train your brain to absorb new concepts. Web development is a dynamic industry. Things move and change quickly, so you will be stuck learning new concepts over and over. Plus, the competition out there. How do one actually learn to build websites? The answer is simple, by building. You are not supposed to memorize syntax, but to solve problems. A website or app is just a means to an end. So don't think you are learning to code this increment counter. Instead, think that in real life, Someone is trying to increase the item's quantity by clicking a button. Now, when you shift your mindset like that, learning becomes more interesting. You feel more involved and important in finding a solution. Suddenly, you will be thinking about the whole picture. Things like design of the counter, size and color of the number itself, 
How will I store and fetch the data? And that's how you learn new stuff, by actually solving real-life problems. If you are not applying the concepts to solve something, you are not learning. As simple as that. But practicing and writing a lot of code is only 10% of the learning process. The other 10% is finding a source or mentor that you can resonate with. Some people learn by solving challenges, some learn by following a course, and some learn by watching random videos right here on YouTube. You need to find what works best for you. The other 10% is knowing that everyone sucks in the beginning. Forget beginners, I waste hours perfecting a design in Figma, or writing CSS, or fixing errors that should have taken 10 to 15 minutes at most. So, don't compare yourself to the YouTubers who design or code like a god. Firstly, they have years of experience, and secondly, they are not solving the problem in real time. So, the first 10% is a lot of practice and problem solving. Then you need to find a source or mentor, and you need to set real expectations. The next 20% is mindset. You need to believe more than anyone that you can be a developer. You have to see yourself building products and websites. I know how this sounds, but trust me, this is very important. I made my first website when I knew nothing about coding. Ten years ago, just dragging and dropping elements, installing themes and plugins, felt ten times harder than actually learning to code. How crazy is that? Not comparing web development to website builders. I am just saying that we often underestimate what our mind is capable of. That's why I often use the easy way in my titles and thumbnails, just to trick your brain into thinking that this is easy, so you at least give it a try. But in reality, nothing of value is easy, and that's a good thing. Learning React is harder than learning to use WordPress. That means there is a barrier to entry. That means less competition. And at the end of the day, the market is a game of supply and demand. If you are struggling with coding, that means everyone struggles with it. That means a lot of people will give up, thinking that they are not smart enough to build apps and websites. Make sure you are not one of them. That brings us back to the learning process. We have covered the initial 50%. The next 500% is to have discipline. A few years into coding, you don't fear writing code. What you fear is eyeglasses and back pain. You can't work on a laptop because the text is too hard to read. So, if you are really serious about this thing, you need your mind and body to work together. You don't need to be brilliant to become a web developer. What you really need is discipline and a curious mind. Plus, there are a lot of amazing resources out there. Countless YouTube videos, Google and those other apps for quick answers, plus some excellent platforms to build your foundation. One of the best places to polish your coding skills is today's sponsor Brilliant a learning platform where you learn by doing. With thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI that let you play with different concepts. A method proven to be six times more effective than watching long, boring videos. The best thing about Brilliant is that they believe in problem solving, not memorizing. And problem solving is a critical skill to get you out of tutorial hell. One of the lessons I really liked is thinking in code. Not only it's filled with essential coding elements, from loops and variables to nesting and conditionals. It will also help you develop your mind to think like a developer. And that's really what actually matters. So if you like to try everything Brilliant has to offer, for free, for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash Sajid, or click the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. So, you want to build apps and websites. Great. I want you to find a real-world problem and try to solve it as a developer. Maybe you will create something that will finally land you a client or an interview. Even if you fail, it will be a massive win in the long run. Errors and failures will teach you like no teacher or tutorial ever will.